So for the next um, Google Apps Script function, you should make a new sheet. And um, here we also, you need to go to the tools, script editor. Okay. And now here um, we should put an email address because we want um, to get a stock price and the email address and the if the stock price is lower than something then uh, please get an email but in this case you can um, define the price so for example I will call it notification this kind of uh, function here email address So notification email address and I would say price yeah and the currently price The currency price we can use here Google Finance. Now we get here the sticker. You can also use it from the other sheets, but for a better und better understanding, um, I will use it here Google Sheets come back yeah Google Finance um, we need to find a kind of a, a ticker it could be anything you can get from the sheet one or somewhere else uh, for the demonstration I will put a uh, stock name here and it will be the PayPal or Pepsi I just put Pepsi pep this is the ticker the tickers you can also always Google so if you want to have a ticker from um, some um, stocks then you can just put it here ticker and um, for example Amazon Amazon ticker and if you come here then you uh, AMZN so that's the way how you can do it so we have now here Pep, Pepsi and to get the um, the price the current price we use Google Finance we choose the ticker put here price bam we are we have the current price and we're always changing so it's kind of a live information for us okay so the price I would say we can say if the price is lower than um, 100 I would say 50 then please write us an email to the to this email address test at gmail.com or something yeah the price would be then 150 nice and now we can start um, to program the, the application, this function. So come here to Tools, Script Editor. Uh, I already have here one information. So just make a new script. Call it 
email alert. So it's not a problem if there are any other codes in this um, Google App Script Editor. With everything is what you can do with stocks or portfolio tracker. So these functions, you, you can just um, easily implement and use them separately or together. It's also possible. So. Okay. So. I will call this stock price as a function. And as I already told, this code is also downloadable in the description. You can find the link. Or, yeah, you can just follow the whole th um, process step by step if you don't have any clues about the codes. Don't worry. So, at active spreadsheet. So, we get an active spreadsheet here. I will call the next variable as a stock price. So we have the um, spreadsheet one, get sheet by name. Okay, and get range. I just use them, and from this range we get a value. We will get the value. Yeah, now we need to define, so what is the, what's the name of the sheet, in this case sheet 2. So you put here sheet 2. And in the get range, this is tricky because the first is the column. But if you are not sure, uh, you can just use... Get, uh, get range. Oh no. Oh yes, so. Um, uh, this is the second, so once two. Yes, so this will be the, uh, the back part. So we need here uh, at the range the two. It's a column, and the row is, for example, so the stock price. So we need the current stock price is four. Okay. The next thing what we need is also a variable. I would call just S S H two spreadsheet app get active spreadsheet and get an also a variable for an email address yeah now we need the variable of the spreadsheet 2 from the get from the active spreadsheet I uh, just put it together it could be from confusing if we don't have a kind of a good, ni a nice structure. Get sheet by name. We will also get the sheet two. Get range. And get value. So the get range. And get value. So in this case, we want to have the price. So this one. Oh no, sorry, the email address. We need to have the email address. So the email address will be in this case um, two two because two second row second column. Oh, and we need also to have uh, a third one. 
and you know what I will just use also this active spreadsheet so war variable because we want to have this price if uh, 150 so this volume we need because if you are here in the Google Sheets so in your Google Sheet you can you can just easily change the values here you don't need to make changes here in the, in the app script it's easier and more more user friendly so let's just name um, as it the price because we call it price get sheet by name so with these very easy applications you can learn very fast Google Apps Script. It's not so hard, but if you are newbie, it's the best way I would say you can uh, start with coding. That's my opinion, but I think if you ask anybody else who is in the coding uh, thing business, then yeah, they think also that's that's a good idea to start with this Google Apps Script. And it's also free and yeah you don't need nothing just a browser okay so we have the price we get also the get range we need the range in this case we bought we are at the state same column and this will be the third row so we put here three and second so third row and second column and now in this part with the if logic so and now we put the stock price so if the stock price is bigger then our price then what will happen happening then we need to get an email so email app send an email email address email address we see we say or we need to write here something sub as a subject I would say yeah email app stock alert And you can say here the stock is more than then you can put here the value more than um, more than the price Of course, yes, nice. Yeah, so it's it seems good. Check the syntax. We don't have any errors. That means yeah, we are ready to go. It's good to go. The application is working. That means if the stock price will be lower than the price, then you will get an email with this alert. So, thank you. We, will, we can jump to the next section.